Hi, welcome to Tipsy Tips, the show where I'm giving you tips while I'm tipsy. Though to be honest, I'm not tipsy at all, yet I'm going to give you some very good tips about product inspection and quality control when it comes to manufacturing your products in China. It doesn't matter if it's for Amazon FBA or you just want to import your own brand. Today I'm going to answer the most common questions that you usually asking me about quality control and I hope that these tips are going to help you to make the right decision when it comes to product inspection and quality control. So, let's begin. Just a second before, cheers! Question number one. How many times should you do a product inspection when it comes to a new supplier you found on Alibaba? Okay, so how many times should you do a product inspection when, when it's about a new supplier you found on Alibaba, a supplier you didn't know before? So most of, of us want to do as many inspections as possible, okay? By the way, for me, for some orders, I'm sending my employees every day to the checkpoint. Uh, yet I assume that some of you have a limited budget. So I would suggest when it comes to new supplier you found on Alibaba to do two to three product inspections. It's the, it depends on your budget. But I would say that two to three times it's enough inspections to make sure you reduce the risk. On the one hand, it reduces your risk, and on the other hand, you are not going to spend too much money. Question number two How many times should you do a product inspection? when it's not a new supplier, when it's a supplier you already know. So it's important for me to say is that Shakti Goku is a supplier before and he did a good job last time. Even if he, he, even if he did a good job for many times, it doesn't mean that the next time he's gonna do a good job. Okay, there are some quality problems that it's not up to him. It can be about the production line, about his employees and other things. So when the supplier you already know, and again, if you have a limited budget, I would say one to two times, I would say that two times are always better because you can do one in the beginning and one before the ending. And if your budget, if your budget doesn't allow this, you can do one time. Question number three. Okay, when is the right time to do a quality uh, inspection? So again, it depends how many times you are going to do the inspection. But basically, if you are doing two times, I would say that the first time need to be when 10 to 20% of the goods are ready. And why is that? Because at this point, if you find a quality problem, your supplier can still fix the issue without losing too much money and without wasting all, all of your time. So I would say that the first product inspection needs to be when 10 to 20% of the goods are ready. And the second product inspection should be when about 80 to 90% of the goods are ready. Now, many of you might ask, why should we do the product inspection when 90% of the goods are ready and not when all of the goods are ready? And here is the answer. Many of you who, does, who, who make product, especially if you go for Amazon, you are making a very nice packaging. And, and all of this packaging might get damaged by the inspector. Now, even if it's a very professional inspector, there are some packaging you cannot open without damaging it. For example, a shrink bag, okay? So this is why I always suggest to make the inspection when 90% of the goods are ready. This way, not everything is packed yet and the inspector can really check the goods without damaging the packaging. And yeah, so this is your answer. How should you choose an inspection company? Okay, so my best advice would be to choose an inspection company you trust. Okay, a company that have your interest. If they will not have your interest, well, you're gonna have a problem. You're gonna pay someone that doesn't gonna care about your interest. Okay, so there are many ways to find a, a inspection company. It can be on Google, on Alibaba, many options. But what's important is how to choose them. You, know, you need to choose someone uh, you can trust. Maybe someone you know, or maybe someone you got from a recommendation. Number five, how long should the inventory quality inspection last? Well, it should be about six to eight hours. This is not include the driving to the factory of the inspector. This is the about time uh, the inspector need in order to check 10% of the products. Uh, of course, it depends on the total quantity. So if your total quantity is one to 2,000 pieces, it should be about six to eight hours of work. But again, it also depends how complex is the product. 
for example, a glass might uh, demand less time to check in the quality rather than an electronic device. Number six, do the inspector is checking 100% of the goods? The answer is no. Basically, you check a percentage according to the uh, quality standards you want. Usually, it would be about 10% to uh, 8% of the goods. If you want more than this, if you want the inspector to check a bigger amount of the goods, you should tell him before and, and get a quote according to the quantity you want. What is most important when you are getting a price from the inspector, you always should ask what percent, percentage of the goods or what quantity of the goods are you going to check. For more great videos, subscribe to our channels and see you soon.